Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samlander Squad? Today, I am playing Kamazots, and I'll tell you why in a second. First, I want to tell you that every subscriber in the year 2022 on this channel, any new subscriber, I should say, is uh, <clears throat> worth approximately 10 cents to charity. Every new subscriber, I will be donating 10 cents to charity at the end of 2022. I'll tally them all up and see uh, see how many subs we got during the year. And donate the appropriate amount of money to a charity of uh, probably a collective decision. It'll be pretty sick. Anyways, today I'm starting a series in what I think are the best gods of each class in duel. And I think, okay, rude. First off, you don't win this, so we're all clear. Tried. That's what's important sometimes. I missed, which means now I no longer win this. Actually, wait, hold on. I can just do this. Now we're chilling. But a series of what I consider to be the best gods in each uh, in each role of Smite. Right now, I am playing Kamazots because I think Kamazots is probably. One of the best, if not straight up just the best, assassin in duel. Because, hear me out. Oh, that actually killed me. I think his warrior's axe ticked twice during that. Um, because his sustain is absolutely incredible. Just the amount of sustain that he has. His burst damage is nutso mode. He's one of the assassins that can clear with one ability, which is his one, just by leveling it up. There's not many assassins that can do that, believe it or not. Um, and building him tank or damage doesn't matter. Either way, he's very good. I think I will kill you, probably. Okay. He is dead. I'm going to wait this out because I want my passive. I'll auto it one more time. If you get a last hit on a buff with your two, then you uh, then you get an extra stack of your passive. And my passive is power and lifesteal, I believe. Could be wrong. Might just be lifesteal. Going cross on first item, which is just not smart, to be completely honest. Obviously, he's shitting on me right now because... I had 200 health at the beginning of that fight. That doesn't matter too much to me. I kind of want him to be aggressive, but I don't think he will. Come through the wall. Oh, I actually got the blue buff. The tick of my two got the blue buff. actually don't scare me my blue buff is keeping me alive thank you mana that hit me i can go get my crusher now i want to get crusher instead of yotens because i plan on uh, actually i could i want to get hydras and uh <clears throat> breastplate i think both of them like both items combined would be really nice that's 30 percent cooldown and then obviously 500 pot would finish me off at at 40 percent however an early yotans is tempting god admit it is a bit tempting i'm not gonna do it though I'm not gonna do it i'm maxing my one instead of my two right here because i'm gonna go mostly into defense this game like i'll i'll go uh i'll go breastplate here plus maxing the one nice for clear it's nice for clear and obviously i'll max the two second maxing the three is great don't get me wrong it's a very very good ability it's super great for sustain you heal so much i mean 40 per hit you can hit an entire wave at once you know it's really good but i think i'd much rather have the uh i'd much rather have the other ability the two hit really hard 
Unfortunately, I missed that. So he's going to get a lot of free damage on me. But now that you have no abilities, what happens? My abilities come back faster than yours. Oh, I missed everything? Interesting. Oh, I was, I'm just going to hold my shell there. Cause there's almost no way I kill him. Like first off, he hasn't missed a single ability literally all game, which is impressive as is like, no matter what rank you are not missing a single ability. All game is fucking crazy. So props to him. I'm not even mad. It's a, it is really impressive. Um, which is why he's killed me twice. I've killed him once. I might be able to kill him again if he does get greedy for his blue. Which it looks like he will be. Staying in the wall here. Probably running the other direction because it's a little low HP now. Alright, my one cleared the back line. And I'm just going to go. I'm going to farm up. Like, even though he killed me there. Even though he killed me. He lost XP camp and both blues. So it really isn't worth it for him. And I mean, that's that's honestly a lesson too. Duel is not about killing each other. It used to be, and it was more fun back then. <laughs> but uh, Duel is about maintaining pressure around the map, not about who kills who. I hate being bad at the game. Alright, I'm gonna go back now. Go get my Bancrofts. And by Bancrofts, I mean Breastplate. They both start with B, don't judge me. Oh, that's his first missed ability all game. Oh, that scream is so obnoxious, man. <laughs> it's crazy. There's no reason to stay. There's nothing up. There's nothing up. And he went he went Blackthorn, Warrior's Axe into Breastplate. Like, he's super, super, super tanky. He definitely does not want to die. That being said, I'm still ahead of him. So, like... You do not scare me. I have Breastplate now, and you do not have Finished Breastplate. So, you're in a tough position. I'm just juking literally everything I have. Um, can I kill with my alt here? Hello, Appa. Not. Oh man, I am missing it all. I am missing it all. You are greedy. You are hella greedy. Cannot be doing that, my guy. No matter how good you think your fighting potential is. No matter how many abilities I miss. No matter any of it. Can't just stay under tower with 150 to 250 HP. It's just not going to work out for you ever. And if it does, it's because they messed up pretty bad. <laughs> um, I'll go. I'll go Blackthorn here. I didn't originally want to go Blackthorn. <coughs> I didn't originally want to go Blackthorn, but um, I will, I guess. I'm maxing the one. The one gives me enough power to make Blackthorn worth it. I'll use the one here, clear wave. He's doing. He's busy with red, so I'm just going to do his blue. I don't care too much about the red buff. I'm more about maintaining a lead than I am doing more damage here. He obviously wants my blue buff. Not delusional. I missed. Okay. Fine by me. Fine by me. Yep, why not? Oh. Uh, 
так. I am missing everything, dude. I'm missing everything. You know what it is? Because I don't have my I don't have my Blackthorn yet. That's what it is. Okay, that should have hit. Just trying to zone me. You cannot zone me. You literally cannot zone me. I don't care who you think you are. There is no world where you live through zoning. Okay, nice. Just a chip. Nothing more. Nice. Solid hit. Killed quite a bit. Killed quite a bit from a solid hit. Oh, that would have killed me. That would have sucked. All right, cool. Blackthorn online. I now have 100 trillion HP. And also an extra 10% cooldown. So now I could go Hydra's and just straight up finish it. This guy must have a ton of gold because I am a gigantic item ahead of him. Just a full, like a full crusher ahead of him. I am 400 gold ahead just in general, but that's not much. Realistically, that's not a full ass crusher. Oop, oop. What did you get? Here, too. You got Aegis? Well, Aegis is not going to help you win. Aegis is not going to help you win. You better use it. All right. Well, I could not be happier about what just perspired. I'm going to pick up the red because I have blue stone now in order to help my mana sustain. I would prefer you not getting that buff if at all possible. Thank you. I don't know where you went. Whatever. Don't really care. They got the buff. I'll clear the wave here. Go to the XP camp. Go to my blue. Or I could just clear the... I, I could just get XP camp here and then back and be fine to just go to my blue buff. Um, next item. I want a physical power item that also does damage. AKA void shield. You can count on me defeating Basically with... Kamazots, and the reason I think he's one of the best, if not straight up the best assassin in duel, like I said previously, is his one gives him so much power that you can afford to not really build any. You can afford to almost go full tank, or in my case, like bruiser style, and still be fine because your one gives you 30 power. So. Your, uh, your abilities are going to hit hard pretty much no matter what. Pretty much no matter what. You know, like, I'm full de I'm full defense pretty much, and this guy is also full defense, and I'm still, I'm still chunking the shit out of him with each ability. With each and every ability, I am doing so much damage to him. All with just defense. Because as long as I land that one, I'm ready to take a fight. And that is something you need to learn as Kamazots. The more you play him, the more you're, you'll understand it. But just right out the gate, if you are starting... If you are starting Kamazots because of this video or, you know, because of Samazots or whatever. Um, just know that... Normally, you, you can go two ways with him. You can build him full tank like I am or bruiser or whatever and max your one. Or you can go full damage and max your two. Both are very good options. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend anything else. I will say if you're playing him in solo lane in Conquest, if you're playing him in solo lane in Conquest, you do start your one and your two. or you I mean, you start your one and then you start your three. Um... 
And then you max your three, actually, because you go full tank in solo and in conquest to max your three. But other than builds, another thing you need to know when learning Kamazots is if you miss either your one or your two, and yes, it does require both. If you miss either ability, you disengage that fight. Unless you're super ahead. Unless you know for a fact that you win that fight, you disengage. Because both, uh, both abilities are basically needed. They're basically needed in order to do a lot of damage. Like you'll notice, if I hit both abilities, I'm always, I'm always aggressive here. You know, I'm always aggressive here. All right, there we go. And there it is, boys. I have 180 power because my one is giving me 30 power. I've only built 144 power, by the way. And that's with red buff. That's with red buff. I only built like 120 power. And I got all the way up to almost 200 or over 200 power there for a second just by by fighting him, you know? Yeah, that's basically what I think you need to know um, about Kamazots in terms of how to level his abilities, how to build him, and um, when to engage and when to disengage. Overall, uh, I think this is going to be a fun series just because I have a lot of fun trying to teach people gods. Like when I do, or when I did coaching, I would always ask them before we got into our, our session of coaching to pick one to three gods, depending on how much time you want to spend on each one. And I will teach them everything they need to know, ins and outs of each god. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful or if you just enjoyed it. I would appreciate that too. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And until next time, peace.